Okay, so this topic, <laughs> in this topic video, we calling it, don't let the rat bitches set you up for failure, sis, okay? <clears throat> I repeat, do not let the rap girlies set you up for failure. Now, when I say set you up for failure, I, I, I don't know how deep I'm going to allow myself to get because um, I really don't want to get too deep into it. But you got to know that with this music that they are pushing to us, they are forcing down our throat, uh, it, it, it is propaganda to, one, force you, when I say you, I mean the black woman, forcing you uh manipulating you programming you to essentially turn yourself into a sex slave for the um, for the desire of the patriarchal capitalistic america with three k's in there um it's it's turning you into the male gaze's personal slut. Um yeah, this music that they are pushing to us with um plants like sexy red. When I say plant I mean the industry plant meaning the artists that they create. Like they get these are they literally get these artists out the hood that say, hey, we're going to give you this money, and we're going to give you, I was going to say all this money, but they're not, in reality, they're not getting all that money. <laughs> like, they be portraying this shit. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give you this money, we're going to give you this deal, we're going to give you this platform, and we want you to push our agenda, right? And, boom, in return, they sign a dotted line, sign their blood contracts, sell their soul, they push the agenda of the, um, I call them devils, but I, I also refer to them as the quote unquote elites because it ain't nothing elite about these motherfuckers, you feel me? But anyways, um, they push the agenda of the devils, <laughs> um, the, the motherfuckers that run the entertainment business, run all of the shit they control the the things that we see on tv what we hear on the radio um what, what shit what options what varieties we have in the grocery store what what variety of food restaurants we have in specific neighborhoods like these motherfuckers the motherfuckers that have forced them way force their way up to the top, the top of their own made up ass pyramid. Um, these people are the ones that's hiring and <laughs> planting motherfuckers like um sexy red and super Sunny. It's like I don't even like saying their names. Uh it don't it don't taste good in my mouth at all. Um <laughs> like at all. But I'm only saying this for the purpose of this video. Like this was put on my spirit a while ago of course i'm just really i'm just recording all of the videos that spirit put on me last year to like record like all of these topics i've literally rewrote these topics down like she i could say about five times now um like all right i need to do this topic i need to do this topic but anyways um yeah like <laughs> just it's like you got an in it. Ooh, okay. Shit, this video. Okay, we might get a little bit deeper because it this ain't really no surface level shit. Like, for one, the music is fucking low vibrational. <laughs> the music is demonic. And when I say it's demonic, it's just because, like, the frequency of it, the energy, the intention, the, like, it's all low vibrational as fuck, which makes that shit demonic for real. Um, Especially with the people that they have that's purposely, intentionally pushing an agenda. This shit is fucking the money. What I don't understand is I see people on social media coming to, like, defend these people. For one, is if they really fucking know these women. For two, it's like, what is there to defend? Like, 
if anything, I would just rather motherfuckers not say shit about shit <laughs> type of vibe. Like, yeah, we don't have to, like, bash these women, but at the same time, y'all come to defend people like them. You have no fucking clue who they are, but you seeing the energy that they display. Coming to defend people like them is absurd to me, especially since these people was hired to brainwash your ass. Especially since these people was hired to keep you a fucking slave in the matrix. To whore you out for for the world to see. <laughs> to, to, to get in your fucking head and persuade you to go make an OnlyFans and fucking play with toys and shit for, for, for people to see. Like, that's what the fuck these people are sent here to do okay and it's working because like i said they got motherfuckers that don't even know them in real life defending them for a while i seen a lot of people on my social on my facebook specifically who were defending sukiyana right and it was just absurd to me because it was like first off this woman is a whole ass pedophile this woman had a whole ass video with her putting her ass twerking on a 10 year old child that's pedophilia nobody checked that bitch for that all these motherfuckers motherfuckers with kids was on i seen motherfuckers that i i i can't even say i know them personally like i used to know them like i used to go to school with them at some point motherfuckers that i used to know i seen them personally getting on social media to defend this woman and i'm just like y'all look sound fucking ignorant like and that's me being nice saying that you fucking ignorant because it's like why are you coming to defend this type of sh this type of low vibrational ass shit but also it just gives me a, 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 a introspection on who these people are down at, at their core at their soul um but people was defending her with the whole when it was popping when she like first came out with Saying she was eating niggas asses and all that shit and when she was um i think it was like a picture or a video or something with like some crusty ass nigga foot in her fucking mouth disgusting like i seen people defending shit like that that's crazy to me why are you defending and i seen people being like oh y'all really think she like that and like, y'all really giving her the attention that she's seeking. Like, she really just giving, she really just doing this to get a thrill out of y'all. And y'all feeding it to her. Like, she really not like that. She really this and that. And it's like, first of all, you sound dumb as hell. Because how can you, a fucking complete stranger to her, how the fuck can you sit up here and, and, and confidently type on how this woman really is? This woman is showing y'all who she is. She sold her soul. She said it out of her own fucking mouth. And people would look at that video, because I've seen that video multiple times. People would look at that video, would hear the words coming out of her mouth, saying she sold her soul. And then motherfuckers would be like, uh-uh, she not like that. She really a nice girl. And she really just be doing this stuff to get y'all attention. And y'all be falling for it. Are you dumb, nigga? Yes, yes, you are, actually. Like, I'm not even like, like you're dumb. Because, like, huh? And, like, this just goes to show, like, how much oblivion people live in. Like, a motherfucker will show you exactly who they are so blatantly and repeatedly, too. A motherfucker will show you exactly who they are. And you motherfuckers will be like, no, I don't believe that you ain't shit, even though you told me verbatim and showed me 50 times. That's wild to me. That's wild to me. Not everybody's on the bandwagon and come to talk about and defend this sexy rare girl and it's like once again y'all falling for the fucking trap like she's a fucking plant like i don't even know if this if this girl is a fucking real person like <laughs> like i don't fucking know if she's a fucking real person she could have been made in the lab for all i goddamn know like i don't trust shit i don't trust nothing that they show me like i i don't know like I, i'm just not understanding but it's like People who are falling for it, you're like you're falling for it and you're gonna fall in the fucking trap. And a lot of y'all don't see how one, how serious it is, 
And it's just like, it's not just music. It's not just you looking at her videos and you supporting her. It's deeper than that. All this shit is energy. You energetically, first off, this is energy harvesting that, that people like them are doing, women like them are doing. Yeah, people like them are doing. <laughs> Um, this, is, this is energy harvesting, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, they're they're definitely harvesting. They, like, they got y'all energy. I'm pretty sure it's bags up. It's filled somewhere, locked up, secure type shit. Like, they're harvesting your energy. <laughs> stop being so fucking gullible. And stop thinking that, oh, these people are better people than what they're displaying. No. They're displaying what they want you to know of them. Accept that shit for what it is. And stop unconsciously or consciously giving your energy away to devils. <laughs> to demonic, low vibrational as energy. Because by you just listening to shit, by you entertaining and engaging, you're giving your energy to demonic forces, to low vibrational entities. You are tapping into that. You are inviting that shit to you. And then motherfuckers, motherfuckers walk around wondering why they fucking depressed. Wondering why they can't get shit moving. Wonder, like, and it's like... Man, don't let these, don't let these rap bitches set you up, man. <laughs> don't let them set you up for failure. Be fucking smart about this shit, like... Be conscious of what you are feeding your brain, feeding your mind. Be conscious of what you are allowing yourself to take in. Because if you are not, it will truly be your demise.